The iPad and VoiceOver support multiple Braille devices. Here, we'll be pairing a refreshable Braille display with the iPad. The only difference in pairing a Bluetooth Braille display or Bluetooth Braille device with the iPad is that instead of going to the Bluetooth screen as we did with the Bluetooth keyboard, we're going to be going to the VoiceOver screen under the accessibility window. We're going to go to Settings. 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 And then we're going to make sure that General is selected. Pick selected general Good. button. And then over here on the iTunes right side sync. of the screen, button. we're going to go to the accessibility window. You bullet bullets what bullet data keyboard international accessibility but settings vision heading. Okay, and then under the accessibility window, we're going to go to voiceover. Voiceover on. So now from the voiceover screen, I'm going to find the braille button and double tap it to open the braille screen. Typing feedback. You use pitch chain. Use compact voice braille button. Settings, contracted braille, on. Okay. Double tap to toggle set it. There are also some other settings for the particular braille device that you might be using that you can tweak here or customize to your own needs. But we're going to be looking for the list of available braille devices on the lower part of the screen. Contracted braille, eight dot brick status set. Choose a braille device in progress. Refresh a braille, two, seven, zero, nine, eight, zero. Okay. The Refresher Braille is the device that I'm going to be pairing the iPad with today. And I just double tap on it to start the pairing process. Refresher Braille, pin, secure, text field, is editing, character mode. Okay, so it asks me for a pin here, and the pin is provided to me by the, the manufacturer of the device. So each device has its own set pin that, is, uh, that will be provided to you. And I'm going to start typing the number in. One. Two, three, four. Pin, pin, sec alert. Pairing unsuccessful. Pairing took too long. Make sure refresh a braille. Two, seven, zero, nine, eight, zero, six, eight. Is turned on, in range, and is ready to pair. One thing, obviously, that we need to note here is that the pairing process is actually timed by the device. So if you do take too long, it's going to say that you were unsuccessful and then you have to begin the whole process again. So I'm just going to dismiss this window by going to the OK button. Pairing to OK button. Double tap. Settings. Now, if you have too many failed attempts at trying to pair the two devices, you might have to reboot your computer to reinitialize this, the pairing. And I just did that. So we're going to go back to the list. Contracted braille eight status choose a braille in progress. Refresh a braille two seven zero nine. Okay, and I'm going to double tap that. Refresh a pin secure. Great. Text field is editing. And I'm going to type in the pin one hyphen two four four three four. And I'm going to find the pair button and double tap that. Enter pin. Cancel. Refresh a braille pair button. Settings. Brightness and wallpaper button. That sound that you just heard indicates that the pairing with the Braille device was successful. I'm going to go back to our home screen. Home. Settings. Double tap to open. And now using the Braille device, I'm able to navigate through the different icons on my screen. So for example, if I wanted to go back to settings and activate that, I can just use my little joystick here and go to the right. Photo booth. Settings. Double tap to open. And then press down. Settings. I'll show you this one more time. Settings. Double tap to open. As I move to the settings icon, the settings word was displayed on the braille display as in addition to the double tap to open hint. The hint then disappeared and all I'm left with right now is just the word settings. And then I can use the joystick again to navigate through this screen. Airplane mode, Wi-Fi, notification, location, serve, brightness, and wallpaper, button. And there you have movement with the Braille display.